welcome back to my channel and you guys already know what this video is going to be about. It's going to be a review of the new Urban Decay products. So they came out with a primer, a face powder, and some setting sprays. So fun fact, I've never used Urban Decay setting sprays before. I know it's like the number one like selling, like number one that everyone loves setting spray and I've never used it. So they gifted me this NPR which was so, so like crazy that Urban Decay had messaged me and was going to send me their new products. That made me so happy, literally just, just so happy. Alright, so here is the inside of the PR box right here. Of course, as you can see, we have the primer, setting sprays, and powder. So I haven't opened up any of these products, so I haven't used them, and I haven't um, even seen really what they look like. Like, I didn't know they came out with a primer. Um, so let's open it up. And ignore my ugly skin. It is looking so bad. I'm just like breaking out like crazy, and it's not... It's so annoying. All right, so here is the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer right here. So long wear foundation grip primer. Cute little uh, packaging it's in. I like the black and I like the purple. That's like the Urban Decay like standard colors. And then you open it up and it has a pump, which is always nice for a primer, of course. So we're just gonna put it on the face. All right, so it is white. Let's put it on. So that went on really nicely. It was very smooth and a little bit did go a long way. Like that covered my whole face. Um, that went a very long way. I can feel the stickiness now, uh, which typically means it's like a longer kind of vibe for a primer whenever it's sticky. Um, I don't feel it as being like a pore filling one, even though my pores don't look too bad right now. So I don't know, uh, but it doesn't claim to be. It's claimed to be a long wear foundation grip. So this video is also going to be, it's a review. But it's also going to be a tutorial as well because I thought, why not? I'll just apply some products, do some makeup, and um, I'm going to check in later and just show you how the makeup looks. Um, because I am going to be hiking today. I'm going to the zoo, which is on the side of a mountain. And um, I'm going to go eat a lot of food. So, All right, so I felt like the perfect product to uh, try out the products with is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation right here. And then I'm using the color 20W. Why? It is a little dark for me, but I have a hoodie on, so I'm going to blend it down my neck because you guys can kind of tell that it's too dark, but I use it all the time. So basically nothing different, just applying this all over the face. All right, so I don't have a concealer from Urban Decay. I do have this little mini naked skin uh, concealer right here, and every time I use it, it's really nice, but it is too dark uh, for this foundation, even though this foundation is too dark for me. It was like a little mini like sample size one, I believe, um, but I do use it for my eyelids sometimes and really love it. Um, I would love to get a bigger one of this, um, but I haven't, so we're gonna use the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer right here. I'm running out of it, but this is C3. And I'm just going to use what I have left of this product and put it all under the under eyes, kind of on the forehead as well. Alright, so the next thing that is new from Urban Decay is the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Wear Mattifying Weightless Waterproof Setting Powder, which is really cool. I don't think I've ever heard of a waterproof setting powder. So here's the outside packaging, super cute. It's got like the little water textured drips on it. Um, I haven't opened it up, so I don't know if it's something that's supposed to match my skin or if it's translucent. So let's see. Wow, the packaging is so cool. Okay, so I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it's literally like textured water drops on the outside of the packaging. Oh my God, it literally looks like I just sprayed some water on it. That's cool. Alrighty, that sucks. Okay, so this is a very dark powder. I cannot use this at all. There's like no way I can use this. Like, I don't think... Hmm. Can I? I don't know. Let's see. I'm gonna try to like do a big swatch of it on my hand. Because maybe it's like dark, but then it goes translucent. I don't know, I don't see anything on my hand, so um, I'm gonna look it up and see if they have different shades of it. If not, then maybe it's supposed to go into your skin translucently, uh, because this doesn't, surely right, this doesn't have a shade on it. 
I don't even see this on their website, so I don't know if they just haven't announced this yet. Alright, so I'm just, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a little brush, I'm gonna go into that, and I'm gonna put it on part of my skin. Like, I'm going out, so I can't really mess up my skin too much. But let's see. Because it wasn't going on my hands, so we're just kind of tapping it around. I don't know if I want to use it for my under eyes, so that might be bad. So far I don't see any color difference, I don't think. Yeah, no color difference, so I think it's okay to put it under the eyes, but I'm scared. I'm going to add a darker cast on my face, so what I'm going to do is just pat it all in to just push it into the skin, but it looks good. I mean, it doesn't look bad, so if it continuously with a lighter foundation looks good, then I'm going to keep using this because it seems cool. And I'm really just obsessed with the packaging because it just looks so nice. Alright, um, I'll let you guys know how it works throughout the day and I'll also update the chat if I, not the chat, I'll update the description if I end up not liking it after using it for a while. Alright, so we're moving on to bronzer and blush and highlighter as well. I'm going to be using, uh, this one's not Urban Decay products, I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics pressed powder on in Batty on the Block right here. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Cosmetics 103 brush and we're just going to pop it onto the cheeks. This is very light and it's like not pigmented, but it's like such a pretty blush, honestly, so I go into it a lot. So obviously very pink right there, but I will blend it out in a minute. I'm going to go into bronzer. This is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for darker skin. Not that dark at all. I'm going to take the Morphe M530 brush. I'm going to start bronzing. I'm going to put it on the cheeks, jawline, and then on the temple forehead area. Alright, just patting this into the skin where the blush is at to kind of push it in. Dang, I need to clean this sponge. Alright, so now we're going to do a highlighter. I'm going to take this Dalton by Makeup Molly uh, Prepping Perfector brush. And I haven't used this highlighter in forever, but I do love the smell of it. Um, it is a very dark highlighter, but I'm hoping since this foundation is darker, I can use it with it. If not, oh well. This is the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive, and it just smells so nice and it's so pretty. So I'm just taking it and we're going to add it on the cheeks, nose, everywhere. It's like so beaming. I have to go like little by little. <laughs> Alright, since it is really, really pretty, like it's so pretty on the skin, it is a little bit dark for me when I look forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pat it in with the sponge, which always kind of helps me just blend it into the skin to make it not look as beaming, even though I like the beam, but it also helps melt it into the skin. I'm still like really intrigued on how this is so dark. Like, I don't understand. Like, that is so dark, but it went into the skin like it was translucent. I have no understanding of it, but like, literally there's no extra darkness on my skin and clearly that is like a bronzer shade so there is three setting sprays right here so there is the all-nighter ultra matte there is the all-nighter long-lasting makeup setting spray which i think this is their original and then there's the all-nighter pollution protection environmental defense makeup setting spray right here so I don't know if all of these are new. I feel like the Ultra Matte is new because I've seen it on their website. I'm not really sure, but I think the Ultra Matte for sure is the new one. So because it's on their Instagram, they're like showing it and I don't see them showcasing the other ones. Maybe wrong, um, but we're gonna use the Ultra Matte one. Even though I'm more of a, like a dewy kind of girl, I'm feeling like matte vibes today because like I'm going out. So here is the outside packaging, Ultra Matte. Uh, just a standard like packaging, but it is nice. I like the color of it. And then got a little cap on top. It's got two caps. It's got two caps. I don't know. So we're just gonna spray it out first. Oh, it's got like a fine mist, which is really nice. So I'm just gonna spray this all over my face. 
Okay, so that feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel sticky, which some setting sprays do. This one does not. It went on very nicely. It actually went into the skin really nicely. Sometimes when I use setting sprays, it kind of sit on the skin and leaves like these dots on my face until it dries. This one dried really quickly and I feel like it sprayed. I just like the spray on it. Like I love it when setting mist have like nice fine sprays, sprayer things. Of course, I can't tell if it is like long wearing yet but i will come back and check in with you guys later so i'm back i just did my brows off camera i used the glam light uh, brow cream right here in medium brown i love this product and then i also just realized that i never set my eyelids but they don't look too crazy and i only put the foundation on which was really nice so i'm just gonna pat it out for some extra and i'm gonna be honest i don't have too many urban decay products this is the naked urban decay heat palette right here um, and I actually got this from my mom because she didn't use it often so I got it from her so my first ever I feel like my first ever palette like ever at all which was like something that got me into makeup was the Urban Decay like smoky eye palette I literally just used like the same two or three shades every single day I did my makeup the exact same every day for like probably like two years not gonna lie so I am going to be outside a lot today so I'm not doing anything too bold um like not bold at all actually I'm just gonna Let's see, I might use two colors. So the first color I'm gonna go into is He Devil. I'm gonna go into this brush right here, which is the Morphe M433 brush. He Devil is uh, this color right here. And I'm gonna take it and we're just gonna start putting it, oh shit, okay, that's dark. All right, so I'm just gonna start taking it, uh, rounding it out, putting it all over the lid and not blending it too much right now. All right, so now I'm gonna take this Morphe M562 brush right here. It's a small blending brush. I'm gonna go into the color Sauced, which is that very light transition shade right there. Now all I'm doing is just blending out the top and outer part of it, kind of bringing it upwards, just really softening that eyeshadow. taking this brush right here this is the crown brush it doesn't have a name when I go back into that first color and I'm just running this under the uh, lower lash line all right so I'm taking that same second brush in the same color we were using and I'm just putting it under the eyes to kind of smoke it out and make sure it's nice and soft under the lower lash line so I'm taking a pencil color I'm going into the color ounce which is right here and I'm just taking it, it's not really a shimmer color, but I am taking it into the inner corner to kind of brighten it up. It does kind of have like a light shimmer to it, but it's not like a highlight. It's kind of like just a light color to kind of open up the inner corner of the eye. All right, so off camera, I just went ahead and used the NYX Cosmetics uh, Love Lust Disco Epic Ink Eyeliner and just put it on the top of my lashes area. Um, I'm not in the mood to do too bold of eyeliner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this Almar brush. It doesn't have a name on it, but it's a flat brush. I'm going to go into the color Ashes, which is a dark purpley brown color right here. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking it to kind of smoke out that eyeliner so it's not a sharp line but it's just kind of there to add a little bit more, I don't know, add a little bit more to the look. Alright, so that is just a small trick I like to do whether I have eyeliner there or not. Um, sometimes I'll just take a dark color in the palette with a flat brush and run it there without the eyeliner. Or if my eyeliner is just too sharp or it is kind of not even enough, I like to take that and kind of smoke it out so it just keeps the eyeliner there but it also doesn't make it look ratchet if that's the word um, but I also just kind of like doing that because it also helps you know make the eyes pop more make the eyeshadow pop um, whether there is eyeliner there or not all right so I'm gonna go in with the covergirl exhibitionist mascara on the top and bottom lashes Alright, so now for the last step, I'm going to use this Essence lipstick right here. This is in the shade This Is Nude. I love this lipstick, so I'm just putting it on my lips. All 
All right, so that is the completed tutorial for this video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a mini review on the product so far, um, just in case I forget um, to, <laughs> Just in case I forget to come back and check in and film the rest of this video before taking my makeup off because sometimes I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do a mini review. So I feel like my skin looks so, so good. I don't know if it's the foundation, the primer, the setting spray, or, you know, the powder. I don't know what it is, but my skin looks so good. I already like this foundation. I do use it pretty often. The first time I used it, I was like, eh, this is okay. But after I started using it more, I've learned to really, really like it. And I think it looks really good for my skin. Skin. So this powder really just had me so intrigued on how dark it is. I cannot express it enough. It is so dark. You guys can see that. It is very dark, but it went onto my skin without any darkness added to it. It was like it was translucent. So I don't know if that's the case. I don't know if there's different shades, but it did look good on my skin. I feel like my under eyes look really, really nicely. The rest of my face looks nicely as well. I don't typically ever set my entire face. Very rarely I do, um, but I'm glad I did because it looks really, really nice on my skin so far. I think it looks awesome. And then I'm just gonna talk about this packaging again so for one it's like metal clamps so it just kind of clamps down it's not something you have to dig your nail into which you know always breaks my nails and it's really annoying this is just a really nice packaging i can't uh stop talking about it but the literally the outside of packaging is just so cool something i haven't seen done before um, especially for a powder it's textured literally looks like raindrops and that is so cool to me of course i would have to use the primer more often or look at it throughout the day to see if it wore really nicely but this primer worked really really nicely i feel like it went on very nicely on the skin and i don't see anything bad with it yet so i'm gonna continuously use it and um, let you guys know my opinion because I probably won't edit this video tonight or tomorrow I'll probably get it up you know within a couple days just because I'm slow at editing so um, but it did work pretty good so of course I only used the matte setting spray I did not use the other ones but I think it went on really nicely I think it did give my face a matte to it without making me look dry so um, a lot of times I use dewy setting sprays or dewy foundations but I honestly think this looked really really nice it sprayed out nicely which was really nice um, it didn't have like an over dramatic smell to it and it didn't make my face sticky which was really nice as well all right, so I am back from my long day of adventures. Um, I've had my makeup on for several hours now. So I'm gonna be honest, my foundation makeup in general just looks so good still. Like I literally don't have any creasing around the mouth area. Um, I had a hat on all day and it's a little bit off right here. Um, but it's really not off as much as it normally is when I wear a hat all day, especially when I'm outside. When I wear a hat all day, it's like completely off my forehead, like without a doubt, but it is still on there pretty good. So yes, I give this a very high up A+. Plus. Like everything worked so nice. I think the powder was like so cool on the face. The primer obviously worked really well because everything's like super intact. I've been touching my face all day and the spray I think I think the spray did really good as well I think I loved everything like honestly I have no problems with anything if I do I will let you guys know down below in the like description I had any problems with it when I wear it more but honestly I think it just looks it looks so good now like my face still looks awesome Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video.